Today, you will be learning how you can make your own clothing mannequin on Roblox, where players can walk up to your mannequin and they can purchase the clothing or they can try it out. That is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So if you want to know how you can make this in Roblox Studio, make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own clothing mannequin. This system will be auto made so what I mean with that you just have to put in one single ID and then all of the code does the rest for you from purchasing it to trying it to loading it on the mannequin it is really cool. So how this works is over here you can press on the clothing and then you will see this right over here. And then you can buy it, but in my version of it, you can actually try it out. You can try the clothing, and then if you like it, you can buy it. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. If you do in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a like if you like it, and if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video, because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Become a member, press the blue join button, it's exactly the same, but... Uh, Press the bell icon to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure you just do all of that to support me if you want to. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So newbie, how do we set this up? So I'm just going to click stop right now. Then you want to get the model from the link in the description. So go to the description right now, get that model, and then come back to the video and studio. Then click on view, and then go to toolbox. And then click on this over here, the four blocks, my inventory, or inventory, whatever. And then press on clothing mannequins. So just do that, and then, yep. So these are the clothing mannequins you will be using. You can put an infinite amount. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter how much you put. So these are the clothing mannequins. So as you can see, workspace, if you open a folder, you'll see replicated storage, server skip service, start your GUI workspace. Just drag them into their directory. So mannequins goes into workspace. Start to GUI goes into start to GUI. Service cup service goes into service cup service. And then replicated storage into replicated storage. Just like that. And then you can delete the folders. So this is how you set the system up. Uh, all we have to do now is code it. And we have to code the server script and the client script. We're going to start off with the server script, so let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you follow up and let's do this.
So that right there was all of the coding for this tutorial. So now we have entered the recap section, so I'm briefly going to explain to you what the code does. Uh, over here we are requesting services, we are creating a original shirt and a original pants value. We are setting the values of those um, to your shirt template and pants template. We are setting the mannequins up, we are making sure you can click on them. And then when you click on them, uh, we will open a GUI and we will uh, stop you from moving. Over here, we are handling if uh, you can move again. So if you can move again, we'll set it to, we'll give you some speed again. And then on the shirt template, we'll just give you back all of your shirts and pants. Because we do not want you to walk around in our game with a just a literal little try shirt on and not a shirt you own, you know? So uh, if clothing type is equals to a shirt, so if you're trying on a shirt, then we're going to set you on the shirt template. And if it's a pants, we're going to put you on the pants template. Over here, services, we are setting a frame. Uh, we're, we're setting the frame visibility to nothing. We're setting it to false, so you cannot see it. We're setting the position uh, to something else. Uh, just some values over here. A function of get price, so we can get the price of the product. We are over here setting up the frame, so if you switch between pants or shirts, it's going to put that. We are setting the current ID to the ID, because over here we are putting a current ID as the ID we are going to put. And over here we are just literally tweening frames. We're, this, this is just customization. And over here, if you click exit, we're going to make you move again, and the frame goes away. That's basically all you have to know. So now we have entered the testing phase. And all we have to do now is press play over here. Uh, there are some pre-shirts already in. So when we load in the game, the mannequins, as you can see, they are loading in. The mannequins have loaded in. No errors. Let's just keep this over here. So let's say I want to try this purple shirt. So let's just click on the shirt. Three, two, let me just move around a little bit. And three, two, one, boom. Oh, boom. As you can see, I cannot move around. It's telling me that it's a shirt. I can buy it for five Robux over here, as you can see. But I can also try it out. And I want to try this shirt out on my avatar. Try. And as you can see, it loads it onto my avatar. I am now trying the shirt, as you can see. But now, let's say, nah, I don't like the shirt. We just click the X. And our original shirt comes back. So let's try it with the pants over here. Uh, the pants. Hmm... Five Robux, eh, I don't have that. So let's just try it out. Oh, wow, it looks pretty sick. I want to buy it. Okay, you get the point. But if we click the X again, it's going to go away. So this is how you make a clothing mannequin on Roblox. And as you can see, it actually changes with the price. Because this shirt over here is seven Robux. And as you can see, seven Robux. So it keeps it updated. Um, if you want to customize this, all you have to do is go into the mannequin. So let's say you want another one. So just duplicate it. Put it next to it. So now let's say over here. Go into the values. And over here you will see a pants and a shirt. So go to Roblox. To the, to the side. And then click on your shirt. Whatever it is on the catalog. And then copy the numbers at the top. And then just paste it in. That's all you have to do. So let's click play again. Because we just duplicated it. But it will still work. Not if Roblox does not want to cooperate. And as you can see, everything loads in. I just duplicated it, and it loads in. So let's try to get these pans over here to this one. So we're going to try that out. So if I'm correct, this is the third one. So we need to get the first one, and then the pans value from that. We need to put it on the third one. Pans. Now let's try it out. And you'll see that it's going to work. So if we just wait, as you can see, it's loading in. Yep. As you can see, those pants over here are now pants over here. So if we do this again, and then try to buy it, it is these pants. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, and if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video if you like it, and if you don't like it, just give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want. And all I can say is that my name is Doobie, and I say, peace out.